Alrighty, friendos, welcome in. So in today's video, we're going to talk about phasmophobia achievements, what they are, how to get them, etc. Um, no, I know a lot of them are pretty self-explanatory. There's a couple ones that are a little bit more difficult to get, so we'll spend more time on those. But just in case you're looking at these achievements, like how do I do them, then this is the video for you. So we're just going to go down this list of like what I have here. No particular order. Um, and so without further ado, let's hop into it. So a lot of these you can get done retroactively, meaning like if you've played the game before, you've played a bunch of contracts, spent a lot of money, you'll just kind of get them done automatically. Um, this one, I'm not sure if this is retroactively, but complete your first contract. You just got to, you know, play the game, reach prestige one. So in case you aren't familiar with what prestiging is, um, as you level up in the game, when you hit level 100, you have the option to prestige. So they'll have like a little voice once you hit level 100 it'll be like you can go in prestige and so you just like leave this and go here and there'll be an option right here to prestige i'm already max prestige so i can't show you the situation but you would just go back to like this main menu this prestige button and you'll hit prestige and what that does when you prestige is you lose all your money all your equipment and you start from basically level one i'm not going to go into whether or not it's worth prestiging if you're trying to do it for the achievement then yes it is worth prestiging but that's how you do that um, spend money, you might, for the spending one, you might have to, like, spend, you have to buy, like, one item for it to count. Um, but that will be, all the, all the spend money ones can be retroactively done. So I, I think for that one, you might just have to, like, buy one item to trigger it, and then it'll get auto-completed. Complete 10 contracts. Um, that one, again, is retroactive. If you've already done a bunch, you should be able to get that done by maybe just completing one contract, or it'll just auto-check. Um, if you haven't gotten it done, you just gotta play 10 games and easy peasy. Unlock all tier one equipment, um, just kind of level up. And every time you level up, there's like certain milestones for each. Okay, it doesn't show here. <laughs> um, but you can just come to this store and it'll tell you what level you have to be to unlock a certain piece of equipment. And you just have to hit that level. So once you get every piece of equipment unlocked at at least tier one, you will have that one completed. Um, we already talked about the spending money. Um, you just have to spend them that much money and if you've already spent that much, just buy one item and it should uh, be good to go. Uh, complete 50 contracts. Just got to you know, complete 50 contracts. Um, same with the complete 100. As far as the ghost discovered achievement, you just have to play enough games until you've like identified this ghost. And so all of the like discover revenant, discover shade, you just have to play until you've gone against that ghost complete the uh, the contract, survive, and you'll get it done. So you may come down to like, for a while, I had to just discover, I think it was like the twins. Like I was playing for a week straight and never got the twins. And then finally I went against them. So you just got to play enough. There it is. And you'll eventually get all of those done. So yeah, the complete contracts one, if you've already definitely played a hundred contracts, it should get done retroactively. You may have to play like one game for it to recognize that you've done that many, but it should be a retroactive one. Now, here's a little bit more of a difficult one. Uh, it's called They're Here, Witness a Poltergeist Ability. I think this is one of the hidden achievements. Um, to do this one, you have to make, make sure that you're going against a poltergeist. And what you're looking for with the ability is like the poltergeist explosion. So it'll like explode a pile of items. So if you know, where to go, you know you're going against a poltergeist, you can make a pile of items in the room and just wait for it to explode them. Now, if you have a monkey paw, you can wish for activity which should increase the rate that the poltergeist does its ability. I had a, a friend recently say that they used this wish and had a poltergeist do its ability like super quickly. So yeah, what you're looking for is the poltergeist to explode the pile of items. Now with this, um, with achievements like this, once you load out, you know you've done it. Make sure that when you get back to this menu, you hit like, after you've loaded out the contract, you hit skip and then next. And once you come back to this screen, it should count the achievement. So if you load out of the game, you're like, no, it didn't count just hit like the next button, go back to like the main, this main screen here and it should count for you. But yeah, for, uh oh, am I back at the top? Oh no, here we go. <laughs> you just gotta witness the poltergeist explosion. For flawless execution, completing a perfect investigation, what that means is that you have to get the ghost right, do all the objectives, find the bone and get, fill your journal with three star pictures. That's all you have to do for a perfect investigation. Uh, create a custom difficulty, assuming you have those unlocked, if you're at the level, um, you go, so you click on like difficulty, let me, let me swap to like, say if I was on like this one, you just go here to the edit button, go over to a custom and just kind of mess around with it however you want. And I think once you hit like apply, it should automatically count for you. 
um, but it's like a super easy one to do. And for all the complete a weekly challenge mode achievements, the weekly challenge mode is, so this one, when you go here, um, challenge mode, you just have to complete this every week until you get it done. So like, I haven't gotten this done yet because we haven't had enough weekly challenges come out since Steam achievements released, but once it does, and if you, you know, every week, if you don't have it done every week, just make sure you do the challenge mode and you'll eventually get that one done. Extra mile, complete 50 optional objectives. So the optional objectives are the ones on the board that say like, get a ghost to blow out a firelight, get proof of the paranormal with the EMF reader or something like that. Just get those done every time you play a game and you'll eventually get all 50 optional objectives done. The bait, get killed by a banshee in multiplayer. This one's also very fairly easy. The only requirements is that you need to be playing with at least one other person. You can't be playing in multiplayer by yourself. You have to have at least one other person and go against a banshee. So you maybe you've gotten all your evidence, you're 100% sure it's a banshee. Just have the ghost hunt and everyone died to it. That needs the achievement. I guess the sound of that to a banshee, or at least I would like to. Well, it's been nice knowing y'all. Enjoy your achievements. Wonder who that. <laughs> Hello. Watch you not be the. Watch you be the. Are you the target or not? Jump or kill. It don't matter. It's nightmare. It has to go through me eventually. Oh. Oh, I was the target. There's so much dying noise. Clean sweep. <laughs> oh wait, let's make sure we have banshees like this. Not the synchronized death, bro! I didn't- wait, I think I need to click this. I, my death was not- I got it! Let's go! I would recommend maybe playing on a difficulty where kills extend hunts. That way, anyone that wants to die to the Banshee during the hunt can get it done on that one hunt. So, I think Professional does not have that. Yeah, a Professional does not extend the hunts. When, so, what that means is that when somebody dies, the ghost will continue hunting if this is turned on or low, medium, high. But if it's turned off, when the ghost hunts and if it were to kill somebody, the hunt would immediately end. So if you just want to make this quicker for you and your friends, I'd, you know, at least, you know, maybe play on Nightmare or Above or make your own custom to where the ghost keeps hunting after they've killed somebody. You don't have to do that, but it'll just make it a little bit faster for you. But it's very straightforward. You just gotta, everyone that wants to get the achievement just needs to die to the Banshee. And you just gotta make sure that you're in multiplayer with at least one other person. Unlock all tier two equipment is also fairly self-explanatory. Um, you can go over to the store here again and see what level you have to be to unlock a certain item at tier two. So like this, it'll tell you whenever you look at it, click on it, it'll be like unlocked at level so-and-so. Just to just get every piece of equipment here unlocked at at least tier two. We've already talked about spending money. Um, escape artist, escape a revenant. Super duper easy. If you know you're going against a revenant, um, let them hunt, let them see you for a second, and then smudge and hide. That's all you gotta do. You don't gotta have to like loop them the entire hunt. As long as they see you and then you get away, you don't die. <laughs> if you are doing this on multiplayer, uh, you might have to be careful that perhaps the ghost like didn't aggro to somebody else and not you. Um, so maybe just to be 100% sure, make sure let everyone take a turn looping the revenant and then smudging and hiding. But super easy to get done. No more training wheels, complete training. You just gotta go through the training course, which is, if you've never done it before, it is right here. Let's go to training. Oh, I'm not gonna hit yes, but you just hit yes and just play through it completely until the very end and you should get that done, no problem. Uh, complete, so dedicated, complete 30 daily tasks. Your daily tasks are these over here. These, so you just gotta complete these every day until you get all 30. So you have four daily tasks, so four, you know, until you get to 30. <laughs> uh, two, re reach prestige two. So again, what we talked about with prestige one, um, just level up till you get to 100, go back to this menu, and then hit prestige. And you'll have like two Roman numerals right here when you hit prestige two. And that this should be all you have to do for that one. Fully loaded, unlock all tier three equipment. Again, just play. I think level 90 is the last, like the, the level you have to be to unlock all tier three equipment, that's when you unlock the tier three crucifix, which is the last piece of equipment you could unlock. So once you get to level 90, you should be able to unlock them. And if you aren't sure, I kind of talked about this, how to do that. Just go to the item you want to unlock, select it. You like will press and long hold it and it should unlock it for you. Uh, reach prestige three, again, just get to when you're at prestige two, level 100, just go back to the main screen and then prestige, to, uh, prestige three. 
I think it's the last prestige one. I think that's the last achievement has to do with prestiging. Now, these ones might be a little more difficult if you haven't gotten your bronze, silver, and gold trophy. Um, what these are is a difficulty, like a challenge, I guess, where you have to go to full-blown sunny meadows. So this one right here. Um, for bronze, you have to go on a six times difficulty or higher. So like you could do it on insanity if you want to. And you have to correctly identify the ghost, do all three objectives, and get the ghost photo. And if you've done that, load out, you should get your bronze trophy. And then silver is 10 times difficulty or higher. Same thing. And the bronze trophy, or sorry, the gold trophy is 15 times difficulty and the same thing. Correctly identify the ghost, do all three objectives, and get the ghost photo. And there's actually a preset in here um, if you wanted to use their preset for it. Um, I have a couple videos on how to do the bronze, silver, and gold trophy, which I can link in the description below. The gold trophy is definitely one of the hardest challenges in Phasmophobia, but you actually can do the gold trophy. So you can just like, when you go to go for the trophies, you could just go for the gold one, do the 15 times difficulty on Sunny Meadows, and you'll unlock all three of them if you just want to do that one right away. But once you do them, you'll have all these cool trophies. Very nice, very nice. But like I said, I have a couple of videos on how to do all of these trophies if you'd rather watch that i'm not going to go into like explicit detail in this video on how to get those but that's all you got to do to get that achievement done but if, if you've already done them you should just be able to get it done retroactively it should just count for you i didn't have to do the gold trophy again to get it a devoted complete 10 weekly tasks while well, my character is very winded <laughs> uh the weekly tasks kind of like the daily tasks are these right here on this clipboard i just gotta get 10 of these done so it may take you a week or two to get that Easy peasy. Now this is arguably probably the most difficult achievement besides the gold trophy. The gold trophy is really difficult to do. But this doom slide get killed by a demon ability within the first minute. It's not hard to do, but it comes down to a lot of RNG. So what this achievement means is that you have to walk into a contract, preferably at somewhere between 80 to 100% sanity. And within a minute, not only be going against a demon, have that demon use its rare ability to hunt at 80% sanity and then die to it all within 60 seconds. And your timer would start as soon as you open the front door and go inside. It's not when you open the van, it's when you do that. So, but thankfully, so I was actually grinding this out on professional, just trying to see if I could get a demon out hunt early and it didn't work. But thankfully, Big Mike, huge shout out to him. I'm gonna link his Twitch below. He came up with this really awesome custom that actually helped me get this done very first time I tried it. Now, I think I got really lucky with RNG, but I'll go ahead and share the settings that I used for it. Uh, they are right here. I'll just go back here and show you. Um, so the general premise for this custom is that you start out at 75% sanity. You take one pill to get your sanity up to 80%. So what that means is that 80% sanity, the only ghost that could haunt you is a demon unless the ghost like happens to ghost stop bent on you while you're waiting there and then your sanity drops and it could be a they but theoretically if the ghost doesn't do that the only one that should hunt is a demon maybe a yokai if you talk near it but this is like the perfect sanity threshold for only demons to hunt a uh, sanity drain speed at zero percent so again your sanity stays at 80 percent unless if a ghost goes to vent on you it's gonna drop but hopefully it doesn't happen um the rest of this you can kind of change how you want even if the reward is that a zero times or multiplier, you can still get this achievement done. Um, for the ghost, uh, just have them be super fast so that they can get to you very quickly and hug you. <laughs> um, I set the grace period to zero, so again, wasting no time in the ghost hunting and hugging you. But the other probably super important aspect of this custom is to add the monkey paw. And what you're going to do with the monkey paw as soon as you walk inside is wish for activity. And what this does is it... I'm not 100% sure about this, but what it felt like to me is that it increases the ghost's a, a chance of using its ability. So you go inside on this difficulty. I'll go ahead and show you an example of the game that I did that got me the demon kill. Um, but you go inside, immediately go to the monkey paw, wish for activity, and then just sit where the ghost is, like you'll probably hear it throwing stuff, and just hope that it hunts under a minute. And I always start a timer as soon as I open the front door, so I know that if that timer is over 60 seconds, I should probably leave and restart. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I wish for activity. Oh yeah, that, 
Wait. Okay, I would say, isn't that, isn't that supposed to break the breaker? Wait. Wait. Oh, does that lock the front door? I actually haven't used this wish in a long time. Oh, okay. I think I, the only time I've used this wish was when, when I was... Oh! Did it happen? Wait. No. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. I'm sorry, what? Now, I've also had people tell me they've used this custom and not had a demon kill them. But I've had more people tell me that they got hugged by a demon using this than not, if that makes sense. Like I said, I've been trying this at professional difficulty for like two weeks, didn't get it done. And as soon as I used this, got it done. And again, huge, huge shout out to Big Mike for coming up with this custom. This was not me. This is all Big Mike. Because I had been trying for so long at professional to get it done and it didn't work. Very first game. I use this, I got hugged by a demon, so. Best of luck to you and your endeavors on this. I'll show these settings one more time in case I went through them too fast. And there you go. All right, I think we're kind of, yeah, I think that's all of the achievements besides the rise to the challenge. And these are just the weekly challenge mode. You just gotta get them done every week until you get all 10 done, which I haven't even done five yet. But that's just because that, that hasn't been five challenges, challenge modes that have come out since the achievement achievements have been released. So I believe that's all I have for you guys in this video. Like I said, a lot of these achievements are pretty self-explanatory. You just kind of have to play the game, identify certain ghosts, get contracts done, spend money. And you should have no problem. Honestly, super duper easy achievements for this game. And hopefully they'll release more. I don't know about that, but that would be pretty cool because I'd like some more challenging ones. That's all I got for you guys in this video. I hope you did enjoy. Best of luck to you in getting your achievements done. Uh, but if you found yourself liking the video, definitely make sure to drop it a like. If you'd love to drop me a sub, good luck ghost hunting, and I will see you in the next one.